A few hours before President Donald Trump went into the Rose Garden last Friday to announce his intent to declare a national emergency so he could build his long-promised border wall, Carl Racine sent a shot across the bow, if Trump was serious about this, he was in for a fight. We will not hesitate to use our legal authority to defend the rule of law, the 56-year-old Attorney General of Washington, D. C. said in a terse statement. It's a posture that has become almost routine for Racine, who as co-chair of the National Democratic Attorneys General Association is playing a little noticed but hugely influential role in fighting the Trump administration at the polls, in the courts, and in the news media. The past few years have been uncommonly high profile for the American legal system. The president finds himself in both personal and professional legal jeopardy. Several of his former aides and advisors have been criminally indicted. The administration's every move is subject to major lawsuits. But while the public has been mesmerized by Trump's legal troubles, Racine has been quietly building out Democrats' ability to check his administration at the state level. Without much notice, he's quietly emerged as perhaps the single most important player in restoring democratic clout in America's legal system. As D.C. Attorney General, Racine is leading the ongoing emolument suit against the president over foreign government's allegedly corrupt patronage of the Trump International Hotel in downtown Washington, along with Maryland ag Brian Frosch. As co-chair of DAGA, he has helped coordinate the legal and political strategies behind the lawsuits suing the Trump administration over issues including the separation of children and parents at the Mexican border, upholding the Affordable Care Act and protecting DACA recipients. And more substantial yet, Racine was the architect of one of the least discussed but most far-reaching results of November's elections, Democrats winning a majority of the nation's attorney general positions, an electoral success with far-reaching implications for workers' rights, immigration, civil rights, consumer protections and the ability to erect a judicial wall against the Trump administration.